Peter Lougheed is one of the genuinely great, if not iconic, uh, political leaders that Canada has seen in the last 40 or 50 years. I mean, he began by himself a dynasty in Alberta that's still alive today. And as an indication of the tremendous influence that he continues to have and that he built up over a lifetime, you know, looking at it from afar, I'd bet you a dollar to a donut that uh, his intervention in the last provincial election campaign was absolutely critical and turned the tide, uh, I think, in favor of the Progressive Conservative Party. Uh, certainly helped a great deal, and I think it's an indication of the high regard in which he continues to be held by all Albertans that that was so. As a Premier, um, I remember we served together briefly, but I certainly remember him in that incarnation before. He was a major player on the Canadian scene. He did a fantastic job in Alberta, we all know that. But nationally, in the negotiations that took place on the energy matters in the 70s and in the constitutional matters, particularly in the 80s, Peter Lougheed was, in many ways, in a class by himself. He spoke with authority, uh, with consideration, and uh, with great strength. And most of all, he brought with him the credibility of a lifetime of public service and the high respect and regard in which they all held him including his colleagues around the table, including the Prime Minister at the time, was of a different pro political uh, persuasion. So I would say that uh, Peter Lougheed has had a, a brilliant and unique career and has warranted that kind of place of appreciation and admiration in Alberta and in Canadian history.